Hey guys, Tom here and welcome back to some more Shadow of Chernobyl. We're going to get right back into it. We're at the barkeep area and we are trying to get past this pack of wild dogs that doesn't seem to be too impressed of us being here. Loot, maybe? No? Ah, you see, this is where energy drinks would come in handy. What's this? Drillax flash drive. Yeah, we got that. We ain't got much bandages here, so... Ideally, I'm gonna... I don't really want to mess with these dogs too much, because... They're nasty as hell. Where are they at? Oh crap. Alright, where are you going? There's an outpost over there. Sounds like the dogs might be trying to go for the guys at the outpost. I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, move through here. Okay. Yep, that's right. Just attack the outpost. God, you see, now they're blocking my entrance to the outpost. Here you go, woofers. Ah, that was rubbish for her. Don't really want to mess with these guys. Okay, this is bad. I'll just try and get to the outpost. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Holy balls. Holy god. See, that's the big mama. That's the nasty one right there. God, we're getting some major lag from these guys. Guys, help! Maybe? Holy god, this guy died right next to the outpost. Sorry about that, guys. It's probably because I'm recording with fraps. It's lagged out a little bit. That was a bit of a pain in the ass. Hey, dude. What are you staring at? Keep on moving. There was a massacre at the outpost. What happened? That's the last wave of mutants that came before the blowout. It's quiet for three or four days, and then there's another wave. It's not for us. There'd be no bar, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you guys are, like, defending the bar. Whatever. That was close. We nearly got absolutely savaged by those uh, dogs there. God. I'm surprised we got out of that alive. Anyway, this is the uh, bar area. So, Dewey. Dewey are here to protect the world from the zone. Dewey are the main faction in this area. This guy's just... Ah, uh, you'll hear that. That's like a meme for this game. Get out of here, stalker. It's a very... It's a very famous quote from this game. Well, in the stalker world. Anyway, we're gonna head to the bar. Which is through here. This guy just sort of wanders around here as well. He's kind of a bit weird. But the bar is down here. The main trading hub... I call this the main trading hub for the whole game because this guy sells the most stuff. You hear quite often and... Hello! And uh... No, you just said come in there. Weird. And you can get a lot of missions and stuff from this place. Travel to areas... Alright, good. Hello, how's it going? You look very similar to the other guy. Have you brought the documents from the Institute? Here are the documents from the Institute. We have the documents at last. I need to have a look at them now. And maybe I'll work out how to get north. While I do that, if you have problems with mobs, you can fight at the arena. The owner of the arena is armed. I've uploaded this quarter. Okay, so we can go and fight in the arena for money. I don't really like doing that. He's a bit, um, it's a bit hardcore. It's not my style, really. You basically fight for money. You're given a weapon or a knife or a weapon with limited ammo, grenades, 
uh, and a suit of armor of some sort, and you matched up against somebody similar or enemies of similar type, and you got to fight to the death basically. And if you lose, you lose. That's it. Anyway, the document you brought from the institute makes some things a little clearer, but we're still missing the info we need to get a full picture. A lead designated X-18 is mentioned, and its description matches the abandoned underground vaults in the Dark Valley. Looks like you'll have to go there and get the info we need. The lead is closed, and you'll need two electronic keys to get inside. How did I manage that? I'll give you one, but you'll need to get the other one from Bula in the Dark Valley. Okay, so he's talking about a lab here. X18 in the Dark Valley. We haven't been to the Dark Valley yet, but we have to go through garbage to get to it. At the moment, we won't be able to get to it though because the radiation is way too high. Um, but he's going to give us a key, and we need to go and get another key from a man in the Dark Valley, which is fine. We also got five grand there. Boom. Don't forget to get yourself a protective suit, or you won't have a chance in hell to get into the lab. So, do it. Yeah, sure, I'll try. Great, I'll be waiting. Um. Why did I bother? I'm um, here for the job. Great, a job well deserved. Okay, so we uh, we killed those guys in the underground, um, the bandits, and we got a gravy iron, which is fair enough. Can you repair my equipment? Requ repair cost of armor and stuff. Okay, whatever, I don't really care. Let's just tread. Need to get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. We'll have a look at what suits of armor we can get here. Because ours isn't in brilliant condition. Oh, look at this, I'm 16. Nice. Not brilliant, mind. What have we got here? FAMAS? Well, looks like it's pretty good. Three round burst. It's got two fire modes, nice. Galil? Oh no, it's an FNC, interesting. Nah, not so good. So this guy's a lot of gear to trade. As you can see, he's got shotguns, he's got all sorts of AKs here. AKS 47, AK 47. He's got all sorts of ammo as well. Nice shotgun there, pump action. So it silences, suppresses for 5.45. Slanted. So our primary weapon's alright at the moment. I'm pretty fine, I'm alright with that. 7.62 times 54, what do you go in? Does he sell scopes actually? I could do with a scope for our rifle. Someone help. Nope. You can hear you guys in the background going, damn it, if only somebody helped us and shit, but we'll get to that later. So really this is the kind of thing we want. Got some advanced night vision and stuff. 80,000 rubles though, we ain't got money for that. We'll sell these artifacts off. Why did I and these, oh no, hang on, we'll keep all of those for later. So we'll sell those artifacts off. I think we'll have ourselves a few more bandages here. Got enough med kits for now. That's fine. I'm not really bothered about getting another weapon at the moment, but... Might get our suit repaired. Uh, fix my armor. Thank you. So our armor is at full there. Our weapon is fine. The Tokarov is okay. So he said we need to go through to uh, the Dark Valley, but I don't really think we have the equipment to go through there yet. This radiation resistance on this is only plus 15. We need something better than that. We could take a lot of anti-radiation drugs, but... I think we'll do a few missions around here first, anyway. I've got a big problem, man. I lost my family rifle in the wild territory Damn, and I wanted to shoot some bloodsuckers. But I barely got away. Damn, listen, bro. If you get it back, I'll pay you. Oh, okay. Go on, then. Uh, I'll give you anything. Just try my rifle, I beg you. 
I lost that place where those dumb bloodsuckers live. Here are the coordinates. How Be careful though. That? The wild territory where bloodsuckers live. You know, actually, I'll um. Yeah, okay, do you speak English? What do you want? You can tell me anything useful. If you haven't been in an arena, I recommend it. It's a good way to make money and show everyone what you can do. It's not my uh, style. Do you have any f do you have any jobs for me? Kill the traitor. Kill the traitor. A while ago a stalker went and I went looking for an artifact right next to the scorcher. Ah, some other time, dude. <laughs> no, don't fancy well, I've that. I've always got something interesting for people like you. Oh, really? I work as a dealer of information. I sell import. Sorry, I cannot talk today. I sell important information and buy charts, documents, and lab records. My information is valuable and very useful. Got a job? Kill a master stalker. Let's have a look. We don't like. Walking dreadnoughts wandering across the zone, stalks and exoskeleton suit armed to the teeth. <laughs> Some other time, we ain't got the, uh, we ain't got the balls for that yet. Whoa, what's he got? A crystal thorn? Oh, that's a valuable one. Come on back here, dude. Have you got a job for me? Have you got something for me? Kill the soldier, eliminate the bandits, a garbage. Turn the flesh's eye and find the meat chunk artifact. Let's kill the soldier. Don't ask questions on this one, just do it. I'm up for it. Alright, fair enough. Kill the soldier. We'll, um. Get rid of that one. We could go all the way back to Corden to turn that one in, but I'm not going to. Kill a soldier, where is he at? Oh man, he's at the Agrofam Research Institute. Oh, that's miles away. Whatever. We'll do that one in a bit. Okay, so as you can see, that was an interesting place. Lots of people to talk to, lots of missions to get. They mainly just go and sort of point A to point B, kill a guy, get the reward, or sometimes they're point A to point B, kill a herd of dogs, sorry, a pack of dogs rather. Sometimes I find an artifact, etc, etc. Um, but I'm not really up for any of those missions at the moment. I might have a bit of an explore around first. Hang on guys, I'll be back in a minute. Very sorry about that guys, I'm back. Um, anyway, what I'm thinking is our main objective. We need to get ourselves a better suit than this. Something with better, well, overall, hopefully, but... We definitely need better radiation resistance. <laughs> Um, more night vision would be nice. Our weapon, our primary weapon's okay at the moment. Ammunition would be fairly commonplace for it. Um, I'm just hoping that we can get ourselves a better suit of armor from. See, the, the one that he was selling there wasn't very good. I'm hoping that we can get one from a stash, maybe? There is a stash here. That's quite an interesting one. Just outside the gates there, we have a stash under a cross where the dogs are. Now, if we could clear that area out of dogs... You know what? I fancy that. By the sounds of things, it sounds like they buried a guy with all his gear there. Get out of here, stalker. Get out of here, stalker. And, and if they buried him with all his gear, that could mean there's a suit lying around down there, and I am game for that. And dogs are not that tricky. That guy looks like he's just running in for the, um... God, I don't know what he's doing. He looks like he's going to try and get himself killed by the looks of things. I'll give him a hand. What the f hell is that guy doing? Where is the stash? It's over the barricade. 
Oh yeah, he's definitely getting himself killed. Hopefully I'll take a few of them dogs with him. Another dead guy here. Ah, he had a scientific med kit there, you see. That's useful. Holy god, he just... Did you seriously just go in here and clear all that out? Holy god, you're a legend. Well done, pal. I'm hoping to get something like what he's got. Another dead rookie out here. Don't need... You aren't going to need that gear anymore. And here is the stash, I think. Yeah. He had a... Uh, this isn't really what I'm looking for. He had some vodka. And a nice slug. Um, ah, fuck there. And some food. I'm going to eat some food. Found the fruit punch anomaly. That's what that green one was called on the floor. Fruit punch. See, what the hell is this? Is that where we can equip items? No. The negative qualities is that fact I compensate by the fact it heightens the calculation of blood. So that one gives us better healing capacity, I think. You see, the thing is, in this mod, I don't understand how the artifacts work. If we can, it doesn't look like we can equip them, really. I guess we're just getting them to sell them. We can't really use them. Fair enough, though, mind. Fair enough. Yeah, the only option we have is drop it. We can't... It looks to me like you could equip them in these slots, but... Ah, God, I don't know. So that was that stash. We'll go and s well, well, what's our weight looking like? We got enough weight. We'll sell this later. Um, sorry, this area is quite dark. Is he gonna see it? Get out of here, stalker! Oh, hello. Who are you? Fiend. Can you tell me something inter interesting? By the old warehouses, you know the Freedom Base. They're happy-go-lucky guys. Have some soul. Nice to chat with them over a bottle of wine. And duty isn't there all the time, like around the bar. Yeah, yeah, sure. So the duty base is based here at the bar. You notice these guys wandering around with the sort of red tint on their camo. That, sorry, on their armor. That is duty. This is their base Stop. here. Outsiders may not enter. You see, they're not happy about me being here. Why don't you let outsiders in? Where did you naive boys come from? There's a war going on, right? We're fighting the freedom bandits. We have regular skirmishes with the fighters in the wild territory. Why? Because there's no place for us freedom bandits in the zone. They must be destroyed. If you're interested, go and ask the barkeep to explain everything. I'm busy. So basically he's saying we can join him in the fight with f against freedom. Don't really want to get myself involved in politics like that at the moment. They're playing shit music, which is kind of weird. But yeah, I don't really want to get involved in politics like that. It, not my deal. Not not yet, at least. There's not much to gain from it at the moment. Plus, we're not well enough equipped. So, what I'm thinking is we go to the army warehouses and see the guys at the Freedom Base. There might be some stashes knocking around down there. So... We can go that way, that's the wild territory, um, which leads on to the scientific area where those guys knock around. And we can go to the army warehouses down here, which is where I'm going to go, because I think we might have a bit more luck finding a suit down here, possibly, or at least getting some money together. Also that way, eesh, there's a lot of enemies and bad guys trying to kill us out there. Anyway, we'll be back in a second. Hey guys, I'm back. And we are at the army warehouses. Holy god, what happened here? Three dead guys. What? What's up? Who the hell is this? He's got a pretty nice suit of armor there. What are you... 
What the fuck? Did you just finish these guys off? Holy god. Wow. Oh dear, this guy had some nice weaponry. Done with these, but oh yeah. They've got what they did. Oh, an M16. M16. Oh, these guys are well equipped. I think we'll be having that 1911 equipped. Pretty sure it's got better base damage than our uh, talker of. It's worth a lot more, so we'll be using that. And what was this that we picked up? Galil. No, what we've got at the moment's definitely better. We'll sell it on. I don't know why all these guys were dead here, man. That was rather odd. And also the colour palette at the moment is going a bit strange. These assholes... Three assholes down, just like that. He came just in time, didn't blow our cover and came out surf and sound. By the way, I think no one has to know about this, eh? Know about what? Perfect. Are you looking for a way to earn some dough, Stalker? Something like that? And follow us to our commander. Sure. Skull will tell you everything himself. Alright, lead on then. Alright, I'll just do that. Whatever. So that was weird. It looks like they set an ambush for them guys, but we were... He said we were just in time. We were a little bit late, I think. Those guys were already shut down. Now this here is a duty sort of outpost around here. And this is Skull. Hello brother, I'm a duty member and we're here on a mission. Would you like to join us? Not particularly. Then get the hell out of the way, Lona. Tell me something interesting. Well, not really up to date last news. Would you like to trade? I'll trade you this talker of ammo, I don't want it anymore. I'm not sure what the colour palette's doing at the moment, you know. Found us all first aid kit and some antibiotics there. These guys are just... Jesus Christ, there's a lot of these guys. If I went to town on these guys now, they would absolutely hand it to me. Oof. So yeah, let's have a look. What have we been up to? Uh, fatigue. Running in prolonged period of time causes fatigue. I'll become exhausted if I don't... Yeah, we know that. Uh, attitude. By helping with a character, I improve their attitude towards me. In general reputation, yep, sure. Animals and mutants. Right, what have we seen? We've seen boars. Poltergeist. Supernatural in the eyes of some invisible creatures haunting the deeper reaches of the zone. Not ever hold seen those before. An is bomb. Results of genetic experiment. Is that possibly what we saw earlier? <laughs> Weird. Dwarf. Underground ruins. Sensitive eyes can go blind and sleep from bright limit. Wow. They added a few different, um... A few different guys to this. Holy god. So the duty faction is a paramilitary group known for its discipline, whose members live according to the strict code. I'm sure you guys don't really want to see all this, but... That guy just decided to start playing a guitar randomly. Interesting. So this is where we could... These guys... I'm not keen on them, if I'm honest. Where are we at? So this is the uh, freedom base here. Duty's base obviously exists down here in the uh, bar area. Some old warehouses here. This place is quite dangerous. This place here is very dangerous. There's a lot of blood suckers around there. Anyway, I think we'll go and pay a visit to the uh, to the freedom faction. Yeah, well, I don't want to see a job. I'm hoping that Freedom, they do have an armory where I can trade some gear. So I'm hoping that possibly they might have a suit that I'm looking for. 
RC that I'd like. Or maybe I can just trade off that weapon that I stole off one of their dead guys. That would be uh, fine with me. Let me have a look. So this area is pretty dangerous. Got ourselves a loner down there on his own. That's very odd. Is he on his own? See, we could go down there and murder that guy and steal his gear, but I'm not like that. These options are available to you in Stalker, but I'm not really keen on that. There's the old army warehouses. The render distance gone a bit funny, but you can see over there. Ah, hang on, he does have friendos. There's a guy on fire? And there's a big guy watching over on the hill there. Fair enough. I'm kinda liking the look of this new pistol that we got. M1911, American made thing. Very famous gun. Second World War usage and all that kind of stuff. So here's the Freedom Base. Come up here. Let's have a little chat. Alright then. What's up, Bromlin man? Looking to drop in our place, huh? Something like that. How about joining us, eh? How about I'm here on business? Come on, join us. It's a lot of fun. I'll think about it. Who's the boss here? And what's your business? I've got information for him. Luke Ash is our leader. Go to the main building. Got it, thanks. See you later. Come up here. Let's have a little chat. Man, you're on the freedom base. Relax, make yourself at home. Behave, okay? Got it? Yeah, sure. So he's just telling us that we shouldn't start any fights or anything like that down here because we could get ourselves killed. So this is the freedom base. It's an old military establishment, I think. They have sniper towers up here with guys posted with big guns, so uh, you don't want to do anything stupid down here or they will make complete mince me out of you. As you can see, they got a lot of guys posted. Uh, there's another one up there. They've got guys up here as well, I think. Yep. So yeah, pretty dangerous place if you're not friendly with them. So, this is the main headquarters for them. Talk to him. I'm looking for the leader of freedom. I've got extremely important information for him. And just how important is it? Came across a group of duty members not far from your base. Uh oh. Looks like duty's trying to equalize again. Okay, you can end there. Thanks, dude. You're not holding that gun correctly, probably because it's modded. FBA! Hold access to the arsenal district from freedom members FBA. only. Alright, whatever. And who is this guy? Skin flint, nothing, just looking around. You should do something useful. Especially as I've got something you might be interested in. Wanna earn? Want to earn, huh? What? Okay, that was a bit weird, grammar. I can give you a crystal if you do, more, do me one particular favour. A nasty situation has developed. Lately, no one is bringing any artifacts from the village. Yeah, I know why. It's fine. But you see, we can trade stuff to this dude. Oh, look at that. He's got some nice guns here. Wow. Accuracy 10 out of 10. Ballistic 9. 20 round magazine. Nice gun there. See, look at these shotguns he's got. Mossberg pump action shotguns. Very nice. M16. Modded M16. A3, eh? Pretty nice. Now, here we go. Scopes. PSO 1. See, it's only 8,000 rubles. Now, can we fit that to our weapon? Soviet optical scope will. Presently standard issue in Russia and for most countries, formerly belongs to you. It can be mounted on most weapons using the dovetail style mount. Interesting. We'll get rid of that for now. We'll lay this off on him as well because no, you don't have enough money, fair enough. Alright guys. Um let's see. I think this strange hue on the screen is due to us not sleeping or something like that. 
so I'm going to find a place to sleep and I will be back in the next episode. So I hope you guys are still enjoying this and I will see you next time.